Hey guys, Tyrup here bringing you a 4v4 today. We are on the new map Monte Carlo. Playing for today spawning on the left, we've got the Allied team, Lord Heat as US forces. Operator also with US forces. Add Nilp with the Brits and Nashes. Gone for air and sea. Also as Brits. On the right hand side we've got Jew Man with Wehrmacht uh, mechanized. Rich with Africa Corps Italian Infantry, Fluffy Puppy, Luftwaffe as Wehrmacht, and Blackjack King mechanized as Wehrmacht. So Patreon back has submitted games. I think three of the Allies may be on a ranged team. It's harder to gauge that these days, but ranks there between I think 500 and 1,000. Whereas on the Axis team, they've got a rankings edge. One of them is like about rank 110, up to around 550. But yeah, as I said, I think three of the allies are on a range team together. I'm not 100% on that. That should give them a bit of a coordination advantage. Got a bunch of ultralights coming out from the allies. Applying a bit of pressure. Doesn't look like any of the Axis have bothered to go for it. any ultralights themselves. Jumps into the building right in front of these two. Scout's kind of out in the open. Really machine gun from Nash's locking down the bottom. The engineers. Mm, shouldn't be repairing in combat. Should just get the engineers in here to help fight against the grenadiers. Oh, and a sniper coming out for Jewman. I don't know, you know, if you if you got the light scout car there already. I don't know if that's the right choice. And push forwards with the engineers, but completely shut down and overstaying their welcome. Late retreats. Could be a squad wipe. Got machine gun just staying on suppression. If it focused on that squad retreating, might have got the wipe. The sniper is hiding in the corner away from the 4x4. We're losing a fuel point! Machine gun gonna come around the corner here for Black Jack King. Get one now for Lord Heat's four by four. Doesn't even look like he's used the uh, self repair yet, so even if he takes some damage here, it's not the end of the world. All the engineers off the field. And a double four by four strategy here by Operator. Daring maneuver here, trying to get around the side of the machine gun. And uh, does so. MG on the run. Of course, with the 4x4s being bugged to some extent, being able to fire outside of their normal cone and well beyond their normal range. Bingo fuel in. Back to base. Sniper getting chased down here. Looks like a Vet 1 has been uh, team gone for by Jew Man. Yep, infantry officer quarters. Not capping on this one. Operator. Capping on both of them, in fact. One of our uh, into tank grenades. One of them did. Which has tech grenades, that means. Oh, and Faust as well from Fluffy Puppy. Does not have Vet. Must have gone for an early uh, pen oh, Luftwaffe company, in fact. Our four by four has been expecting Panzergreen down. to your company, but I guess the Axis have had just that good of a fuel control to this point. I'm able to tick up very smoothly. I've lost a little bit of control in the north here. Got a mortar on the field now for Blackjack King, looking to uh, get something going here. A strategic point is being claimed. Need some vision though. Green Deer's going to push in. Look at all this wiring off by Nash's. Squad 
4 by 4 coming in around the side. Looks like it's going to go for a sniper dive. Here he goes. We're losing a strategic point. Look at how long those bursts are on the 4 by 4 It's insane. Easy kill on the sniper. Thanks to that. Meanwhile, Rich left his 4 by 4 I mean, uh, 2.5 ton. No contact. It goes down fast. Got the AT rifles there. Big mistake. But a humble on the field now for Nash's. Decent timing for that. Doesn't look like Blackjack King uh, has a good counter. He's only got one Grenadier. No, two Grenadiers for the Faust. He's got Pentagrenadier Company up. And an AT gun's in production. Not here yet, though. Defend our victory point. We're losing it. Got a 75mm uh, M3 coming through. Vehicle crews have been granted the means to repair in the field. Barrage on that is uh, respectable now. Is under enemy control now. Not easier to use than it used to be. Looks like some artillery called him by the dingo. Not hitting too much here though. Early lead for the allies. Dominating territory control. And the Humber giving these units the run around here. Can't get in range for the Faust. The AT gun is rolling up. There's a lot of sight and territory locking. Here it comes, the AT gun setting up. Oh, doesn't quite get the shot off. MG though gets some pretty good pins. Looks like the Humber's gonna come this way. The AT gun packs up, sits back up. Vision from the capture circle there, I think. The Humber, very low in health, goes down there to that AT gun shot. That's the thing about the Humber, so lightly armoured. And I think only has 240 health, so a bit of small arms combined up with an AT gun shot, that's all it takes. Could be a dead scout here in the north. 75mm M3, not up to much. Victory point is being overrun. Okay, flak feeling coming in from Rich. Stuart on the field for Ad Nil. Looks like it's going to come down this direction. Victory point is in enemy hands. Inside the building, getting extremely low. Flamethrower is about to take it out. And here it goes. But here comes the Stuart flak running away from the AT rifle squads. Being Looks like the mortar has uh, decreed the Vickers back here. MG trying to set up in front of these two flame squads. Oh, but they got vet. They got the grenade off. A fuel point is oh, being still alive. 14 HP. I think one more flame burst would have got the decrew, but two engineers overrun. end up going down to that. Dropping in uh, something here, Nash's. Commandos out the back. Got the machine guns going to get out. And uh, I think so will the Panzergreens. Got a sniper out for Blackjack King now. Not a decent option. It's the uh, machine gun, but that's still decrewed at this stage. Rayhound and Stuart. Not in a position yet to kill the flak. Flak kind of revealing itself, shooting at those vulnerable planes. Those paradox planes that cannot be shot down. Actually, I think maybe they should address that so it doesn't happen. They chase down the uh, 2.5 ton truck. Flak maybe could activate the uh, AP ammo here if he's got the munitions. Could actually shred the Greyhounds. The five truck, ton truck trying to get away. AT rifles lining up. They're so low now they have to get out of there. And the green is could come in from the side for a snare. Wouldn't be enough for the kill though. Sniper coming back up. We've got a pack howie down here for Nash's as well. And he's back at base healing. Okay, we've got a uh, fighting position up. I'm 
guessing this is going to be mortar, but it could be machine gun. Got eight router coming in from Blackjack King. It's going to crush through those barbed wire setups. And get right around the side of this AT gun, but there is the AT section there. They do not have anti-tank grenades yet, though. Smokes out after seeing the AT gun rotate. Sniper coming up, looking uh, for a shot, perhaps. Doesn't have vision, though. The Stuck took a hammering. And perhaps the Stuart. Uh oh, Stuart's coming in on his rear armor. What was G Man doing? Making progress. The enemy is down I think he's getting hit with the uh, target tread here. Enemy is down no, the marked vehicle. Kind of lucky to penetrate that final shot. Should have been circling around the Stuck there instead of backing away from it. Front arm of the Shug. Easily could have bounced a couple shots there in a row. Front position still not upgraded. Got double time repairs. Two chaffies from operator. He's armored, so I guess can go for the easy eight call-ins later on. Doesn't have to worry too much about just spamming the light tanks. Recruise the machine gun, but a grenade coming in. Gonna decrew that immediately. Mortar rolling up. Sniper did get forced back. Very low health units here. Could maybe do with a uh, Ford mid truck in the south. Oh, Chaffee's getting a bit of a roll on here. Speed boosting their way through. Maybe hoping to find a mid truck. There's nothing back here though. truck is on the field at this stage and of course Wehrmachts don't have they've got base healing rather than a mid bunker or something like that not particularly susceptible should have been shooting at the dingo there that would die to one shrek shot Oof, squad inside the building about to go down shrek's are getting out of there the chaffee's still rolling through but not particularly good against infantry. No access vehicles back there for them to find. Looks like Backjack King though is going to retreat. They've captured a victory point. Looks like maybe he's lost one uh, Grenadier or maybe he transferred them across to P-Greens. Might be this squad here. So he's kind of missing some Faust for these Chaffees at this stage. Do much about this. X is really far behind on victory points. They've had a good hold on the center, but not so good north and south. They need to do something about this immediately, otherwise they're going to lose the game. And here they go, two Shru uh, Jaegers coming in. Is upgrading this with the machine gun? Back should be able to knock that out. Loads the mortar into the mid truck. Onto it. Oh my goodness. Can't see how much health it has, but it doesn't look like it's got any. Pops the AP ammo. Clears off that bunker quickly. Still got this one health model inside the uh, building here. Okay, and just pure light vehicle spam from Operator. It has gone all the way down to War Machine as well. The enemy is moving on our strategic investing a lot into the light vehicles. But we are, you know, Commander, almost 15 minutes the into the game. This is kind of medium tank timing. Ready. He just sacrificed that squad jumping onto the machine gun. He probably reinforced from his teammate's mid truck here. Could go for a uh, high explosive barrage here, try and knock this out. The truck though, doing work for Lord Heat. On the capture point here with the green is and the grenades. Gonna stop the clock. 28 points, looks like. Planes coming in. Doesn't look like they hit. Okay, suppressed. 
Oshin Yeager up there in the north as well. Now he's decrewed out the back. Integrity's grenading on their way in. Slightly behind the squad, but they don't retreat into it. Got a Sherman on the field now for Lord Heat. Here comes the light vehicle train. Going hunting for Rich's units. Jaeger Shrek's coming up though. Bit of a uh, air burst actually. Stunning this. Stunning and blinding his own stuff. Oh, a bit of bad coordination here from the Allies. Jaeger Shrek's up there. Where are the Faust? Why is he retreating with these Jaegers? They're not... They're not even low. I think he lost one Greyhound. Maybe he didn't lose anything there. Matilda on the field. Hunted down by the AT rifles. Struggling to penetrate the Matilda on the front though. Like they will not get it. Not retreating once the commandos arrive. Peewins. Extremely low. 3 HP. Got a lot of uh, decrew team weapons here. Could perhaps kill them off with the AT gun. Not going to steal them. Okay, still got the uh, chaffies in here. Up to no good. 28 points still from the Axis, but they're about to lose control on the center, it looks like. Do have some artillery coming down, though. Oshinuega dropping in as well. Might be enough to win the fight. Someone got a Kanoni. Yeah, okay, Rich does. Out the back, I was wondering what would... Felt like it wasn't just the LEIG coming down. Looks like a uh, pretty comprehensive win in the north from Lord Heat, though. The Matilda. Their lines break. Only 50 okay, uh, Scott in the mix now from Operator. Reports show the enemy has only 50 points left. Oh, repairs required on that Matilda. All commandos. Ready to drop. So we're gonna survive. We'll work for action into the center, trying to deny the capture. Chaffee, one of them with an engine crit. Looks like a Greyhound's gone down up here as well. But the Axis have to focus on the VPs, and there's uh, quite a lot of allied vehicles right there. And they do not have the anti-tank to handle that. Got the Jaeger Shrix now, though. Tilda's still getting repaired up. He's gone for the med truck. It looks like Blackjack King has decided to steal away one of the AT guns. Spins around for the med truck. Heavy machine gun has been deployed for you. Could be the end of the uh, truck here yeah, before it even gets a chance to do anything. I'd lost vision though, no attack ground action. He wins charging in here. Ooh, friendly never worth a fire there. But uh, wipes the squad quickly. Do not recommend getting the ambush package by the way. These... Terrible upgrade. Oh! There goes the Scott. Jaeger Shrek seeing to that, and they're going to continue. No. There's a Martyr now from Rich. Bounces its first shot. Might not have the uh, penetration boosts. Tilda takes an engine crit. Could be time to. Uh, Maybe not. We've lost comms with one of our commando artillery teams. Good work, everyone. They're down to only 25 points. Yeah, you hear the announcer. Axis getting very low. 19 left. Okay, we've got a bunch of 76 mil Shermans up in the north here. Coming in for a bit of a base inspection. Only got the Nibblewerfer back here. Human with a fresh AT gun rolling up, but 
woefully understaffed when it comes to anti-tank. That's the end of the nibble. Oh, a little bit slow getting into the centre. Decap is there. Some uh, air burst coming in, I think this is. No, that's uh, carpet bombing, I believe. This is red smoke. Back in with the Jaeger Shrix, they really need to stop that capture attempt. Meanwhile, one of the uh, 76 mils has taken an engine crit. AT gun recruit here. Second AT gun rolling up for Dewman as well. He goes for an audacious steal. Loads up the Nibbleworfer and is driving away with it here. Oh, but the double AT guns, that rate of fire is so nasty. Right on max range, it ends up going down. Don't know if it was worth it going for a steal like that. What's a drain though? 12 from the Axis. Need to jump in the circle here immediately. All our capture war here down the bottom. But it looks like Blackjack King's able to hold on. But here come the planes. Mid half track's got to get out of here. Oof. Yeah, no hope of escape. Planes came in from the right angle to get the kill there. Stoss getting overwhelmed. Victory point lost. The enemy has control. Doesn't have the firepower, but a fight back. But two points left. Looks like Rich able to stop the clock in the center. And the Pegrins hanging in down the bottom. And here we go. Got a Panther coming out for Blackjack King. Ooh, got the air burst coming down the center. We're just going to town here. 12 kills now. We're losing a fuel Dropping to smoke, going for the capture. Is that a BR 5.5 coming in from somewhere? Yeah, there's, a, there's one right here, in fact. I didn't even see it. So far forwards. I don't know about this positioning. That's a, that's a risky one. The second Matilda now for Nash's, but the Panther should counter that very effectively. Double AT guns. And a fresh half track, I think that's a really good idea to help maintain this position. Axe is hanging in in the middle. Oof. It's like the heavy mortar. I don't know what this BL 5.5 is doing. It's just sitting here doing nothing. Maybe he's doing their best here, but. Got the MP40s, they're not that strong even with a decent amount of vet. A fresh 76 more Sherman now for Lord Heat, but not in position to fire. Okay, Matilda coming in from the side. Trying to knock out the BR 5.5 with this infantry, but Matilda's stopping that from happening. Panther doesn't want to run into those AT rifle units. Pushing forwards with the machine gun here. Ammunitions point is being overrun. Double nibble worth for fluffy puppy. Canone. Five kills so far. Not that impressive. It's, it's, it's not that good of a unit of modest. Enemy ground forces. We have vehicles on standby. Yeah, looks like the AT gun's gonna get decrewed here perhaps. Okay, bunch of planes coming in both directions. The Panther could be in some trouble here. Oh, dodges the rockets. Driving past. Three tanks here though for the Panther to help. Has to fight against. Probably gonna take another pass. The AT guns bullying the Matilda. Oh, the Panther nearly going down to those planes. I think he's just a little bit too close to the edge of the circle. They're still coming through for damage. Matilda's still in the smoke, though. If it attack rounded here, it will kill the Panther. Yeah. 
Unfortunately, those bug planes do end up killing the Panther in return. Still has the double AT guns to defend against this Matilda, and it's still quite low. Is that the Matilda? No, that's a Centaur. T gun misses. This one loses vision behind the trees. Nix is hanging on. And they've even gone for the cap up in the north. Stolen Neverwerfer. Turned against G Man. Goes up the cap attempt. Doesn't want to risk losing the squad. The uh, M3 assisting with the barraging there. Both AT guns decrewed. He should kill these off. Looks like the BL 5.5 did get decrewed and now it's going to be satchels for the kill. Good work there by Fluffy Puppy. Easy 8 called in. Oh, what was that? Just mass retreats. Canoni was coming in. Looks like one of the AT guns, either killed or stolen. Looks like stolen. The other one's still up for grabs down here. Two points still from the Axis. But the Allies seem to be losing their grip. The light vehicle pressure has run out from Operator. We Lord Heat still with a pretty big army, feels like. Had milk though uh, very low after the BR 5.5 loss. Feels like the Axis have uh, maybe turned the corner here, but still so easy to lose. Only two VPs remaining. If I was the Allies at the moment, I'd probably be trying to coordinate maybe onto the bottom, just triple team down there while Lord Heat holds the north. Go for the VP win. Kanoni, I think, coming down there. Got the nibbles over here as well. Nine kills now. Good at barraging these kind of forward mid truck positions. Okay, fresh panther for Dewman this time. Should be pretty good against these 76 mil Shermans. Does have that AT gun back there though. His armor shrugging off those hits. 330 frontal armor. Tough for the 76 mils to penetrate that. T gun needs to sit down here. All out brawl for the central VP it looks like. Operator has switched into a bunch of riflemen now, and I think that's the uh, naval bombardment coming down. Oof, huge artillery on the Allied side. We've got the Nibelwerfers coming back the other way, and they smash those riflemen. No dodging or retreating from Operator. With the uh, Crusader up there, combining up with the riflemen, might still have enough firepower. Oof! Carpet bombing out the back. And uh, they brought in the planes as well. The Allies going all out. But he's trying to chase after wipes instead of keeping his eyes on the victory point prize. With the commandos, they're going to go after the Nibelwerfers. Looks like he's going to be able to get the D crew. But they might have been able to get the the win if the commander just came up here to cap the points. Two points, that's all they needed. Looks neutral on the minimap at this stage, but it is not. Panzergreens staying in here for as long as they can. Here comes another squad of Panzergreens. Not sure what's coming in here, but some kind of artillery strike. Decent from the Axis side. Oof! Ooh. Oh my goodness. Whoa boy, you came into the wrong neighborhood with that easy eight. The enemy is trying to take a point. Trying to get out of there as fast as possible. Tiger might be too slow. 
It's a bumpy old ride home, isn't it? Oh, he does not escape every shot from the Tiger connecting. Tries to drop some commandos in, but they are just getting smashed by his teammates' airbursts. Got a fresh Easy 8 running around the corner here. Could perhaps outmaneuver the Tiger. Probably would circle around it, but no, he's just trying to fight it head to head. He does have the penetration to win this, but got the Africa Core anti tank planes. And they uh adding up the damage. Panther, in fact, rotates through and gets the kill. And now the allies are really down in the dumps. They lost a tremendous amount trying to go for that push. And the desperation caps while the artillery was coming down. A 17 pounder for Admiral. A heavy mortar has been decrewed. They're all dead. Now he's exchanging here. Oh. Maybe those are the Luftwaffe planes, actually. Yep, they're coming from Orange. Coming from Africa Core player. In fact, I should know that, right? Because he went Italian Infantry as the Canone. A section of guards have been deployed. Full lockdown in the bottom. Might be a good time to get some uh, engineers, to pioneers, get some mines down. I locked that down completely. Still uh, looking pretty good for Lord Heat in the north. He's still got a pretty large army. The rest of his team, though, not so good. Especially Operator really suicided those easy eights against the Tiger. And perhaps uh, Nash is kind of giving away the game by not running back with the commandos into capture earlier. It could have closed the show. Two points was all that was required. Instead, tried to go for the D crew on the Nebelwerfers. Instead of just going for the win. This is up here, but we've got a 17 pounder foot guards. And they uh oh it's a centaur. It's a lot of damage though, it's rear armor not so good. Kanoni's coming down, but here comes a Hellcat. The Hellcat can well, these two shots. Maybe not if the uh, AT rifles or the Centaur get some damage in. So the Panther goes down. Yeah, no Matilda up here now. Oh, but there's the Tiger. Rear armor exposed on the Matilda. It's popping smoke. Trying to cover the capture here. Allies going in. Two points remaining. Matilda just getting obliterated by that tiger. Meanwhile, we've got some artillery out the back. It's an all-out brawl for the center. The allies have the numbers, but they might be getting smashed by the artillery here. Got some artillery of their own, though. The air bursts. Oh, man. Everything's dying in the middle. Machine gun out the back providing some suppression. The tiger's going in. You have the 17 pounder right there. Why is it not shooting? How does it not have vision? Is it bugged? Oh, I don't know what's happened. It must not have vision somehow. It's kind of stuck in that building or something. That's really weird. Probably could have killed the tiger by now if he had vision. That's really bad. Mass infantry, meanwhile, getting forced away in the north. Looks like Lord Heat able to hold on. He took some losses though, it appears. Might be able to get some squad wipes here under a retreat though with this Sherman. Maybe not. Not really chasing. 14 kills now by the Kanoni. Look at that arcing shot in the Centaur. This was steel on the 17 pounder. Gets D crew's got a fast rotate range uh, speed now after the patch, right? We've got a slight buff in that department. The uh, truck. Use that for Fresh Easy 8 out for operator. We're down to 200 points. But here comes another panther. Tiger's just about repaired and we've got an 88 coming in now. Drops it down. Not going to have vision though. Just 
just wants to try clear off this machine gun with the EZ-8. But the British planes coming through. They don't do too much. The Panther's fast enough to get around the side. Oh, the Tiger misses the kill shot. EZ-8 still doing some maneuvers. Oh, the Nebelwerfers, though, smashing the Allies, completely shutting down the capture attempts. Planes, though, obliterate the Panther. Here come a couple Shermans from the old heat. Good rotation from him. Tiger v Matilda. Got the Luftwaffe planes. We've got the carpet bombing in the center now as well. They're trying to get around to block the Tiger, perhaps. No, it gets stuck on the building. Oh, they really want to kill the Tiger, but the 88's back there. He gets the phosphorus shell off, though. And the plane's able to finish the job now. Matilda getting very low. 88 loses vision, maybe trying to track the half track instead. One Sherman goes down. But the Gurkha's in the center, but enough Allied uh, Axis infantry to shut this down. Stick it up the attempt. Not sure exactly where the ADH range ends. Pete has left the north a little exposed though with that rotation. It was it was a good one. Helped knock out that tiger, but we've lost a sector to the enemy. And I still with 175 remaining, but they just cannot get these last two points off the board. The massive amounts of artillery from the Axis just really shutting down the attempts in the center, which is why I think they need to switch off to the south, but maybe the Nibelwerfers will be... Yeah, it looks like they're still in range of those as well in this position. Scott on the field now for operator. I don't know about that. Uh-oh. Tino shooting down the hill here. It's decrewed though, the uh, M3 barrage, I think. Doing the lion's share of damage. Maybe it's the Hellcats barrage as well, actually. He's got two barrages. Panthers up here providing some support. Still has a lockdown in the south, which I think is justified. The Allies could easily rotate down there and get some work done. We need to keep it defended. World Heat's still holding strong in the north. Could this be the end of the Scott? Shrek's chasing them down. Pretty fast, the Scott. Look at the terrain deformation in the center. It's crazy how much artillery there's been in the middle. All, every flavor of strike. Carpet bombing, Kanone, I'm pretty sure some axis off maps as well, but I really want to switch over to see uh, all this stuff in this bit hard. This replay mod. Eighty-eight's already up to Vic two. How did it happen that fast? I suppose uh, it will be decent against the planes, right? The British planes. Shoot those down. The phosphorus out, I think, from the Scott. That's a good idea. The phosphorus is very strong. Scott trying to come down here, but Check the line. his mines, his machine gun. Not going to happen. I need a bit of rotation there. A couple of Pegrins did rotate up here. Little Scott slaying down some smoke. Lord Heat's coming down here with his doing some attack rounds. But there's nothing back there. The mortar getting suicided here. Maybe try to free up some pop cap. A lot of allied tanks in a tiny area, and the Jaegers are not lucky enough to survive it. Recon run by request. Airborne recon pass coming through. This is where the 88 can shine. Take a shot at any Looks like you it's see. having trouble with the tracking at the moment. This shot fires. Okay. 
allies are missing a bit of artillery though that's one thing I haven't seen uh, we have 200 points another BL 5.5 and it could really just lump up this axis positioning out the back oh here we go Matilda coming down to the bottom and we've got one AT gun down here I could just drive around the side of this and easily get the D crews dropping down some artillery Axis trying to get something going in the north Oh, could this be the end of the mid truck? Shim's gonna come around the side. The mid truck does go down, but it's gonna be the end of the AT gun. Meanwhile, the Stoss Trooper, though, getting some work done here. He's trying to go in for the capture. No, he's not. Okay, here we go. Rotation to the bottom. The British planes are coming down. The Panther, gotta be careful. Trying to reinforce the AT guns. Second AT gun back here. Big damage on the Panther from those planes. The 1AT gun decrews. Oh! Huge damage from the artillery. Matilda goes down. Gurkhas are in here, but the smoke may be working against the Allies. The Panther at the edge of the circle falling to those British planes. So they've all been shot down now. Good grenade assault from the Gurkhas. But it looks like this is not going to be quite enough. Mid truck may be able to get some fast recruits on these team weapons. Rifleman sprinting in here for the decap. A lot of smoke down. Oh, but they get suppressed. I think that's the Obiche artillery coming down. <laughs> Doing a bit of friendly fire. <laughs> oh, knocks out the Pegrins. The clock. Two points. We've got a Matilda coming down here. But this has been uh, reinforced somewhat by the mid truck. Double P Green's rolling in. Matilda could get around the corner on this though. Needs to keep driving. Taking some big damage. P Green's in there though. Where's Matilda going? Why is it sitting in front of this AT gun? So the Tiger's coming in. This has been recruited, but again, I think its vision is blocked. And there goes the Matilda. That was some really bad handling by Admiral. If he just drove around the side of this, he could have killed it, decrewed it, maybe killed the med truck, opened up this entire area. Back alley back there doing its best. Yeah, he doesn't have vision. This is just such a bad position for the 17 pounder. Really needs to tow it a little bit off to the side and it gets decrewed, I think, by the. Uh, the Canone there. So the Axe is still hanging in there. Two points left and they are even capping in the north now, Lord Heat. Loses a bit of control, his tanks are repaired up again though. Got two AT guns back there, a bit of air burst coming in. Come the double AT guns, needs to roll past these. They're just sitting in front of them. A lot of shots getting blocked by these rocks here. Oh no. Yeah, that's not that's not it. They took a lot of damage. Trying to get something going, but look at how fast that dives. The 88 right up the front here. Very quick kill on that easy eight. Did not last long. Neverworth is out the back. Eight assaults getting partially dodged. The artillery just smashing the Allied infantry. It's getting annihilated. They have no hope of winning this. This is bollocks. They're down to only 25 points. Oh, the 17 pounder. What is he doing? Luftwaffe of planes coming in now. 14 points left. Lord Heat doing his best in the north. Might be able to get the cap off there, but they're not going to cap anywhere else. So that's going to be the GG. Axis are going to take this one. Hanging on at two points for, what was that, a good like 25 minutes or something? Oh. And that's it. 
What a host from the Axis. The artillery was just too much from the, for the Allies to handle. I think, yeah, quite a few things going wrong for the Allies there. Like that 17-pounder positioning, disastrous. The BL 5.5, terrible. Shouldn't have been planted there. Really, they needed the BL 5.5 as well, like a further back one to soften up all the team weapons the Axis had guarding the center. That was painful. But, you know, Lord Heat, strong in the north, had very good control up there, made some good rotations into the center as well to help here and there. The uh, British planes, very strong. But yeah, Axis able to turn this one around. They had some trouble against uh, the early light vehicle pressure from Operator, just spamming those Chaffees and Greyhounds, doing uh, dangerous maneuvering and largely working out. But... Uh, yeah, the, the, the double Neverworthers, the Kanone, the massive amounts of artillery, just off maps as well. Axis were able to hang in, just constantly denying the cap. I do think the Allies, you know, as I said, they had an opportunity maybe to do like a mass rotation to the south with two or three of them and just steamroll Black Jack King's position down there. He had it pretty well defended, but couldn't hold on against so many players rotating with Lord Heat holding the north, and uh, maybe could have got the job done, but kind of attempted it later on, but wasn't really that successful, wasn't quite enough of a rotation, and just kind of sat in front of the AT guns that Blackjack King had down there instead of flanking them, driving past them. So it was uh, easy pickings for him down there. But yeah, overall, great game, <laughs> crazy action. Impressive hold by the Axis, GG. Well, anyway, guys, wrap on that. If you like a game to be cast by me, details are in the video description below. Otherwise, I'll catch you off the next thrilling installment. Goodbye and good luck.